What's going on guys? Um, I wanted to hop on and talk a little bit about some things that um, that I don't typically talk about and I haven't talked about in a while um, on this channel. Uh, it's kind of hard to get into a lot of the, the things that I'd like to talk about simply because um, I've had to focus on the uh, the crimes that are being committed against me, but I wanted to get into a conversation that is 100% uh, connected to why I'm being gang stalked and why I'm being harassed by the government um, and the Freemasons, which is one and one and the same. Um, I talked about this more in my other channels, um, which I, I believe is what uh, <laughs> what caused the channel to go so heavily shadow banned, um, and this one's shadow banned as well. Like it's, I know it's not getting out to a lot of people as far as the public, but um, a lot of times, you know, we talk about um, who's stalking you, who's a perp, and and we'll have a conversation about, you know, the, being disappointed when, you know, I see other black people participating in this crime because, you know, the, the quote unquote history of um, black people in America uh, and how they've been treated and uh, how they've been abused. And when I say quote unquote, I'm saying that because there's a saying that I believe, you know, we've probably heard quite a bit of at some point in time of our lives, that all skin folk are not kin folk. And I hear more melanated people saying this because, you know, we've we've had this mentality, you and Amanta, to be supportive of other black people and other melanated people and people that look like you and you've all been in the struggle and you know we're all going through a hard time you've all come from a hard time we've all been in slavery and you know our ancestors and blah blah bliggity blah but something that i i discovered about three or four years ago uh pertaining to the moors and I won't get into a great deal of it in this video because it is kind of a lengthy subject. But for all of you, you know, who really want to know what's going on, you really want to know what the deal is. And this is just going to be for those who really want to know. I'm going to put it to you in this perspective. There's a movie that came out quite a bit of while ago. It was very popular. Um, called The Usual Suspects. Now, the rule is that the enemy has to tell you the truth as well as the lie. The truth is all around us. It's all around us, literally. You just have to open up your eyes and be willing to see it. Now, this movie... On the surface, it looks like it's just a, a crime caper to entertain you and to, you know, kind of flip the scripts, flip your mind and, and simply entertain you. But the movie is telling you exactly who the enemy is. The movie is telling you exactly how the enemy is moving. The real enemy and the movie is showing you how you need to move. It's giving you a glimpse into who you really are. And it's really explaining why you're being gang stalked. I'm going to give you some keys to look for if you want to take the time to look into this and really educate yourself on what's really going on. There's a character in the movie that you should pay a lot of attention to, close attention to. 
And that would be the character that goes by the name, the Kaiser Sose. I use that, that name when I describe what's happening to us in the world. We are all being Kaiser Sose'd. We are all being Kaiser Sose'd. But look up the name Kaiser and then go down the bunny hole. But you got to be on point and you got to be awake to catch it. Another uh, character in the movie that you want to pay attention to is Kevin Spacey. He's the one that they call in the movie The Gimp, if you don't know um, who Kevin Spacey is. <laughs> but Kevin Spacey, who he is in real life, is also part of the key of why they chose him to play the part of The Gimp in this movie. Again, they have to tell you the truth along with the lie. Now, I'm going to show you something that's going to tie into everything that I'm saying. Because this is about gang stalking, a.k.a. the Stasi program, a.k.a. COINTELPRO. Who created COINTELPRO? J.F. J. Edgar Huger. For those of you who don't know who J. Edgar Huger is, and I'm saying Hoover, H. O. O. V. as in Victor, E. R. Take a look at who he is. Do some study and some research up on him. But I'm going to give you something that's going to blow your mind real quick. This is J. Edgar Hoover. That's him as an older man. That's him as a young man. Now, for those of you who are melanated, do I have to say anything more? Now, you could call him a mulatto. Mulatto is just another name for someone who is um, mixed, biracial. Anyone know that J. Edgar Hoover was biracial? Anyone know that? Do they talk about that? But check out this photo. That's him as an older man. What's that on the top of his hat? 